Well, here we are, day four, Tales from West Gardner, Maine. I got to thinking this morning, I've been talking about how we need to be kind to each other. Absolutely true. It matters how we treat each other. And I got to thinking about a time when a good friend of mine went overboard in the kindness area. Now, I don't think we can right now. But a little uh, background. My friend John Mash, well, I bumped into him one time in Augusta, Maine, walking through the main street. As he come toward me, I could see that he had a, I don't know, a, a, one of his eyes was closed up. It was blackened up. It looked like it was all damaged. As I got closer, I said, John, what happened to your eye? He says, oh, you won't believe it. He said, I was in church the other day. I go quite often. He said, and I was singing Amazing Grace in one of the back pews, and it was a hot, muggy day. The humdiddy was high, and... And uh, uh, I noticed that the woman in the pew in front of me, uh, well, her dress was stuck in the back. You know how they get sometimes on a muggy day. Well, anyway, he said, God gave me these long arms, so I figured I'd just reach out and tug it out for her. Well, I did, and she turned around and hit me with a hymnal. Well, I won't be doing that again. I said, well, I wouldn't. You've learned your lesson. Good. Well, two weeks later, I got a call. Hey, your buddy John Marsh in the hospital, intensive care. Took quite a beating. What? I raced to the hospital, ran up to see John, and when I got to his room, it was all closed up. It was quiet. The shades were drawn. The nurses were saying, you've got to be quiet. We almost lost him last night. We had to put the paddles to him, bring him back. Flat lined on us right in the middle of the night. The man's on the edge. He took quite a beating. So if you're going to go in and see him, be calm and quiet. So I walked in the room on tiptoes, and I eased up next to bed, and John had a cast on one leg. He had a, one of them halos on his head. He had a, a little uh, straw sticking out of his mouth. That's how he got his food. It was awful. I've never seen a man beat up so bad. I figured four or five burly boys had had their way with him. And I got up close. I said, John, who did this to you? He goes, Gary, you're not going to believe it. You know that woman in church? I said, what happened, John? You didn't do it. No, he said, it wasn't like that. He said, I was in church again. I'm singing. I looked at right ahead of me in the next pew and that same woman standing there and her dress is stuck again. I didn't touch it. Fell the next to me, noticed it and pulled it out. I knew she didn't like that, so I tucked it back in and she went next. That, my friend, is what can happen be if you're too nice. But you can't do it now. Be nice to everybody. It matters how we treat each other. Yeah? <laughs>